Hi again, let's continue our journey. Let's create a new script. This script is responsible for handling line drawing. It will not be attached to each line. Instead, it will be a global script that draws all the lines in the level. The first thing we need is a reference to the user input script that holds the three events we need on mouse down, on mouse move, and on mouse up. And we also need to store the number of the interactable layer. And a reference to the current line on the screen and its route. Let's create an instance of the Raycast detector. Previously we used the new keyword followed by the class name, now all we need is just the new keyword. So, thank you C-Sharp. In the start method, we need to listen to the events emitted by the user input script, and use those events to draw the line. The first event is on mouse down. The first time the user touched the screen, we need to check whether he touched a car or something else. So let's make a raycast and check if something is touched. If true, then let check if it's a car And if the route is still active, it means that the car is not already in the park. If you remember in a previous video, I have mentioned this variable from the route script. This variable indicates whether the car of that route is parked or not. When we park the car, we will set its value to false, using the desactivate method bellow. Back to the line drawer script. Let's store the route. and the line for that car. And also initiates the line to start drawing. That's all for this one. Now let's move to the on mouse move event. Whenever the user drags his hand, we need to check first if the route is not null. Means he started the drag from a car. Then let's make a raycast, and check if something is touched. Store the hit point. and add that point to the line's points. The next thing is to check whether the user hits a park or not.
If the user hits a park, then the second thing to check, if that park is the right one, means the same color. If it's the right park, then let's add the position of that park as the last point of the line, and call on mouse up method. If it's not the right park, then delete that line. The last event is on mouse up, when the user is no longer touching the screen. Let's copy some code from the mouse move event. First thing, check if the route is assigned. Then check the last thing the user hits, and make sure if it's a park. If the line has less than two points, or the user doesn't hit a park, then delete the line. If not, then it is the right park, and we have to desactivate that route. If there is no hits, then delete the line. After all of that, let's reset the drawer script, to use it in the next line. That's all we need for now, let's test this. Add two objects to hold the scripts, user input, and line drawer. Here, the index of our layer is 3. Set the minimum points distance in the line script. As you can see, everything is working fine, and the line is deleted if you didn't reach the park when you release the mouse. That's all for this part and see you again in the next video, cheers!